everyone. Welcome to Erasmus Plus Talks podcast. This podcast created and hosted by Hazar University International Affairs Office. Your host today, me, Azu, and me, Fatima. Here we'll discuss a wide array of topics related to the importance of Erasmus Mobility Exchange programs. So many of you would probably be interested to know what exactly is the Erasmus experience. And here you will learn more about Erasmus Plus student exchange programs, student life abroad, and we will have different guests for each episode, and they will share their unique experiences and many more. Yeah, so we are actually excited to welcome our first guest, Almas. Welcome, Almas. Welcome. Thank you. So how are you doing today, Almas? I'm fine, thank you. You? I'm good too. So before going deeper to our talk, let's share some background information. So please tell us more about yourself. Okay, I'm Omaz. I'm third year of computer engineering student at Hazar University. And last semester I was an exchange student at Sapienza University of Rome in Italy. I had a great experience there and I'm here, uh, here to share it with you all. Yeah, so that's actually cool. So um, I'm actually uh, curious about that. Uh, what's the best part of doing Erasmus in Italy? Um, there are lots of good things about doing Erasmus in Italy. Italy is one of the happiest countries in the world, so people are usually very friendly, helpful and positive. Rome is not one of the most expensive cities in Europe, of course. It's a little costly to live there. But our scholarship was enough for us, and Italy has a lot of good places to visit and admire. I feel very lucky that I had a chance to live there, uh, even if it was for six months. Oh, wow. wow. So, um, Almas, um, have you experienced uh, I mean, any difficulties uh, or some challenges in Italy? Yes, actually, um, the most difficult part was language problem because most of the Italians don't know English, so uh, we use Google Translate even for creating a bank account. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so you said that you have done your Erasmus experience in Italy at Sapienza University, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to know more about, I mean, are there any differences comparing Hazar University with Sapienza? Yes, of course, there are uh, some differences between these two universities. First of all, at Hazar University, we have midterms, quizzes, final exams, and even we can get some scores from our activity and attendance. But at Sapienza University, it's not like this. Uh, we just have one final exam at the end, and we get our total score from that exam. Actually, it may depend on the professor. Some professors uh, can do midterms, but usually they don't. And in one class, each class have more than 100 or 150 students. So it's not easy for a professor to interact with all students. Uh, it was uh, different than Hazard University. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, Arzu, it's actually good to know. So, um, yeah, so um, it's actually nice to hear it. But um, did you have any chance to, to visit other countries uh, while being in Italy? Is there any chance? Yes, I had. This is the fun part. I've been to nine or ten countries during my Oh my, my gosh, wow. really? <laughs> oh my. Yeah. And it was great to see that countries and visit there. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like you said, you've been in nine countries, nine different countries. I mean, are there any tips and tricks? I mean, I guess you have because nine is all like so so pretty high. So I mean, I'd like to know more about. I mean, are there any tips and tricks you can give like while traveling for travelers? I mean, it can be some kind of apps or something. Yeah, of course. Uh, if, you're, if you're traveling, I would recommend to buy tickets very early, at least a month ago. And you can use uh, the official websites of Visa Air or Rainier to get uh, cheap uh, tickets. Or if you want, if you uh, want to compare other kind of traveling options, Omia.com will help you. Uh, in my opinion, traveling with train or bus is more interesting than traveling with plane. And 
For recommendation, I would recommend Booking.com or Airbnb and booking your hotels, hostels or Airbnb before you go there can save your time and money. Yeah, so actually, Elmas, I totally agree with you. So when I have uh, my mobility, so I also uh, use Booking.com. So it's really, um, you know, uh, so helpful for me. Uh, yeah, so um, I'd like to ask that um, which place impressed you most among the places you visited? Because you said that it was nine and it was so impressive, you know, number. So, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, all the cities, all the countries impressed me a lot because they are actually, they were very different than each other. But uh, I liked Amsterdam, Lisbon, Barcelona, Vienna, and all actually. Oh but God, I remember yeah. uh, from the first moment till the end, when I was in Lisbon, uh, I was just saying I wish I would live here. That city was very cute and I really liked it. And also Rome, I lived there for six months and I can't live my uh, rest of my life in that city. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. I mean, uh, so, uh, have you been in trouble? Uh, have you been in trouble while traveling? Actually, we were trying to plan everything before we travel, and luckily we didn't have any big trouble. But we may, uh, we couldn't consider some costs before we travel. For example, some airports may be too far from the city center, and we had to pay uh, money for shuttle buses to yeah. go to the city center and we uh, didn't consider the time. For example, in Paris, it was approximately one or two hours ride from city center to the airport. Actually, we lost our money and our time yeah so um, actually as an office we are receiving a lot of inquiries in regard to some accommodation so the, the students are so um, curious about it so i would also uh, to let them know also uh, in regard to your experience how you find your home or have you stayed in dormitory can you share you also your this experience with of us? course uh, actually this was one of the most difficult parts of doing erasmus in italy because uh, Italian universities don't provide accommodation uh, dorms for students, Erasmus students. So we were required to find it by ourselves. And we were in Baku and trying to find an accommodation in Rome. I, actually, it was a little difficult for us, but we used some websites and apps. For example, we used Idealista and uh, we were able to uh, directly connect to the host uh, landlord mm -hmm. and talk to him or her hmm. and nice. yeah it was actually a little difficult uh, because we may not be sure that the landlord shows our real photos or videos of the room uh, but we found a, a boy from Rome uh, actually he was Azerbaijani and we talked to him and he go uh, went to the apartment and uh, took photos and videos of the apartment and sent us so we were really um, sure that it was great apartment for us. Yeah, Arzu, actually uh, th yeah. Th that's uh, the good point that sometimes the visuals also can tell a lie, so <laughs> we cannot rely on the photos. What do you yeah. think about it? Maybe you have this experience also. I mean, uh, the, sometimes we just search hotels or some places and the visuals are so cool, but uh, when we get there, so it can be uh, shocking for us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So I'd like to know more about your character. I mean, like, uh, let's go deeper on the characteristic traits. You know, uh, you've been, you said that you've lived six months in Italy and you've traveled to different countries, yes? Yes. And, but like some students, unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately, it's like their nature, but they, unfortunately, they're like some kind of shy and can be introvert and they can find, uh, you know, meeting with the new people really difficult. So how was the case for you? Actually, I feel very lucky that I'm an extroverted person and I'm very talkative. Uh, I can find, I can easily find a topic to talk and I can easily communicate with people. And at Sapienza University, they um, organized Welcome Week for us, so for international students at the university. So on that event, um, mostly students were really curious about everyone and everything. We had a lot of things to talk about. So it was great, actually. It was really easy to me to talk uh, to people and share our experiences with each other. And I may say that um, 
I have met Chinese people there, Chinese girls, and I understood that how different we are because we are aware of European life and European people, at least me. Uh, I knew a lot about them, but I knew nothing about Asia and Asian people, unfortunately. But I now I know, and actually it's great. They were very friendly, they were very kind, um, it was great. I mean, you said that you've uh, you know m met with a uh, Chinese girl. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm curious. Have you experienced some kind of little culture shock? Yes, actually, I did because we uh, our cultures are very different. For example, uh, uh, instead of asking how are you, they just ask have you had lunch. They were trying to ask how we are, but when they said um, have you had lunch, I was very confused. Like why you're asking it to <laughs> yeah, me yeah. but then i realized that actually this is the way how they ask it so it, it was a little uh, confusing for me but then uh, i saw that they were friendly and they were kind they were just their culture yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, almas um i would like also to to highlight this point that it's really i mean our talk was uh, cool so uh, but it's really um, good to, to, to highlight that uh, the European Commission Erasmus Plus program supports student mobility and for having their mobility and exchange mobility in the different uh, countries, I mean from Europe, from all over the world. Uh, so, but uh, we are just getting this experience, but some actually another part angle of this uh, topic is uh, some academic part because you need to, you know, to have some exams or some uh, get uh, to know the professors, teachers. So have you experienced any um, academic difficulties on your student mobility? Yes, actually, as I mentioned before, there are lots of differences between our university and yeah. uh, the host university. Uh, so every difference was a difficulty for me at first, but then I adapt. Uh, luckily, we had two chances to take an exam for each course. Actually, uh, it's five. Uh, the students have five chances to get an exam and pass that lecture, mm -hmm. that course. But uh, we were there for the end of, till the end of February, so we had just two chances. Mm -hmm. Actually, I passed from the first chance, luckily. Okay. And it was great. Um, yeah, that difficulties, uh, that differences were difficult for me. But the main difficulty was when I came back to Hazel University. Now I'm taking more courses than my group mates. Uh, to complete my credits in these four years. Uh, cool. So, um, so as as we are Arzu, uh, just uh, getting closer to our uh, today. I mean, the first podcast. Yeah, of course. Uh, for today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, our uh, first podcast. We are just getting closer. So I wouldn't actually miss uh, this question. So uh, I, I do believe that uh, the students and our um, listeners also would be interested about it. How has Erasmus changed you? What would be different if you hadn't been to Erasmus? Actually, Erasmus changed me in a good way. I feel very lucky that I had that experience because I uh, have been to a lot of places. I've been, I have met a lot of people and I learned a lot of things. So I feel very knowledgeable than before. And I feel very confident because uh, I could manage to solve all problems by myself without any help. So uh, I feel very confident about it that I can uh, do everything by my own and it's great for me. I, I feel very lucky that uh, I had that experience. Well, thank you. Thank you, Almas. Uh, and thank you for your sharing all your experience with us. Thank you for your great participation. And I hope like our listeners also learned, I mean, I know that they, they should learn more about Italy, about general experience uh, in Erasmus. So, yeah. So <laughs> I'd like to thank our great listeners as well. And um, I do hope that not the students, also we have uh, different uh, types of uh, listeners we have. So, uh, and we, uh, as an international affairs office of Hazard University, encourage the students to, to experience the student mobility. And hopefully uh, Alma's experience will be uh, helpful and uh, the, the, the guidance on your, um, you know, decisions and uh, this one. So, um, yeah, please uh, do share this episode with our friends. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and stay tuned because we will be back with a new guest for each episode. Thank you for listening. Thank, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you too. Bye-bye.